What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 4 of Wednesday. So, last episode, everyone was kind of doing their own thing at Pilgrim World. Like, Wednesday went off to, like, explore this burned down church that she kept seeing in her visions to, like, find clues for something. And then that thingy ended up there. It was weird. And then Enid was hanging out with Ajax and got him to ask her out and... By the end of the episode, he kind of, he kind of stoned himself, so he didn't get to go, and Enid was mad, and I feel bad, so hopefully in this episode, he gets to explain himself. But I'm actually really excited for this episode because by the, like, picture of it, it kind of looks like it's the, it's the dance episode, and you know, I've seen the iconic dance on TikTok or whatever, but... Yeah, I'm gonna see how this episode goes down, so let's get into it. <laughs> Is it Thing? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was him. Well, I do the autopsy. You find the files of the monsters other victims and make copies. Don't pout. Your scalpel skills are questionable. Oh wait, shit. She's gonna... She's gonna look at the bodies of the creature that, like, killed him? Have you seen a left foot anywhere? Calm down. Who's coming? Well, she didn't get to spend too much time there. What on the latest victim? It's a real noodle scratcher. The killer cut off two toes from the victim's left foot. She was just looking for the foot. Huh? So she got... She got caught? Oh, so she's just gonna play dead. <laughs> <laughs> nice one thing, just hide in the freaking skull. Thing and I may have made an unsanctioned trip to the county morgue to copy the files of the monster's victims. Okay, there are so many levels of ew in that statement. <laughs> House. Two toes. Do you understand what this means? His murders aren't mindless. He's collecting trophies like a seasoned serial killer. It's quite impressive, actually. Oh, she doesn't do well with that kind of stuff, and I get it. Because if I see it, if I see a body part like that, I wouldn't want to see that. What? You're not going to volunteer? Aren't you pumped about disco balls and spiked punch? There's even a DJ, MC Bloodsuckers. I'd rather stick needles in my eyes. <laughs> That's like a lot of scars, scratches. I thought he locked it. Like he locked it last time, so why didn't he lock it that time? Did he know she was following him? Oh, wait, so he's- he's seen it. Wednesday. Savior. Hello. Got caught. This was my chance to get up close and personal with a potential serial killer. How could I refuse? Are you really going to make me ask? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> ask him. You even dance with a certain... Wait... Would you go to the dance with me? There you go. The place! What kind of dystopian hellscape is this? 
our first roomy shopping spree. <laughs> I'm going to see Galpin. I'm not stop. That's more her style and not all the pink. Sorry, you gotta do better than that. But you got some nice detail though. I didn't draw it. Well, I need to know who did. Unless we're exchanging intel, I'm not at liberty to say. Are you really gonna turn in Xavier like that? Behind those ivy covered walls? Listen, Velma, why don't you and the Scooby gang stick to your homework and leave the investigating to the professionals? What? What gang, though? She's just doing it herself. And the thing. That's about it. Is that your suspect? You bring me some concrete evidence, maybe we'll talk. I think maybe he just saw it thought it i don't know something because it's like why would he be drawing himself must want something i got a friend who works at hot couture she overheard you're on the hunt for a date to the raven maybe we can help each other out ajax should be her date they haven't even interacted this episode coming up this weekend right it was all the buzz of the weather vane today I must be the only one not obsessed with this stupid dance. So you're not going? Oh, she's going. With Xavier. Then let me spell it out. I thought we liked each other. But then you pull something like this and I have no idea um, where I stand. I mean, am I? It's hard to tell between like them two and her and Xavier. I thought her and Xavier maybe had more chemistry, but now she's like suspecting him. So now do I have to go with Tyler? Speaking of monsters with sharp claws, could you get this to your roomie? Put in a good word for me. I hear she's still sans date for the Raven. Eugene. Oh my God, he, he won't give up. I am. What's Xavier? I see. It's not like I like Xavier. I just have ulterior motives. Well, shit. <sighs> not a huge fan of enclosed spaces. I'm claustrophobic. If you hear me screaming bloody murder, there's a good chance I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> No, I think it's got a taste for venison. So it chains itself up before it changes or something? Or chains its victims up? I don't know. Maybe it's gonna have the creature's DNA on it. Cause I think he might have fought him or something. Well. I try to block it out, but I can't. So I just come in here and paint it. When I was painting this one, the claws reached out of the canvas and took a swipe at me. And that's how I got these scratches. That's. That's weird. I never heard of that kind of thing happening. You were in here. Before, when I caught you outside. That's the only reason you asked me to the Raven, isn't it? Hmm. Well. That's the claw of the monster, and that's a dried blood sample from a potential suspect. He used it to dab scratches on his neck. Run the DNA test and see if they match. It would match the blood from the scratches. Oh wait, that would just be his blood. I don't know. You know, I figured since neither you nor I have a date to the dance. We should go together. What? No. Oh, so now she doesn't have a date. Well, I should have guessed that after their fight. I hear you might be free tomorrow night after all.
So if they're gonna go together, does that mean she might, she might go with Tyler? Well, they're fighting too. Okay, promise it. Gorgeous. Welcome to this year's Raven. Okay. She was just in silver, so she's not even in white, but she stands out. Oh, there's other people in silver. Tyler. Uh, got your invite. <laughs> Guessing you'd thing drop it in the tip jar. Oh, so Thing planned it, so she didn't know. Me too. Well, now that I'm here, I'm glad I came. <sighs> it's hard not to like him. How'd you pay for it? He got the dress that she saw in the window thing. She looks so good. And it's like the way he looks at her. But in a fun way. Hey, the theme of our last dance was Hawaiian Nights. Yeti teeny? Yep. Oh. oh my god. Where's Ajax? He hasn't been here this whole episode yet. Oh, there he is. With me. We are both loving this dance. Together. Sweet. Nah. Yo, check it out. Once they totally busted out of her cocoon. And then it's like the way Xavier looks at her. Ugh. I can't believe you brought him. Why are you bringing this up? As if this dance weren't tedious enough. Because you don't know what he did to me. What? What did he do to you? Was it the Thin Mountain Air or the Yeti Teenies? That... She straight up just left him. Xavier told me what you did last year. Hey, you and your friends assaulted him and destroyed his mural on Outreach Day. So he 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 is a bad guy. Bitter townie that blames everyone else for the shitty hand he's been dealt. Look, I did a terrible thing, but I swear I'm not a terrible person. I hope you're not. I may have done a little digging on you after we met. <laughs> and do it again. I knew there's a reason I liked you. So he doesn't care about the shit that she did. He thought it was kind of funny, I guess. Oh my god, what is she doing? Oh my god. At least he's vibing with her, like. You said no strings. You broke up with me because you thought I was manipulating you with my siren song. Now you want me to use it to help you get over another girl? Yeah, that's not that good of an idea. That last part just made me cringe even more. You're the whole reason we're even doing this. To get revenge on those freaks for nuking Crackstone's fountain. Yeah, don't tell me you've got soft like Tyler. Come on, let's go, come on. Wait, so that's, that's Tyler's old friends? 
my god. Who was it? I didn't even get to see the dude. It's not foolproof. It's a mild prophylactic, so to speak. That's why Xavier broke up with me. You can never fully trust me. Mm. You don't care what people think of you. Honestly, I wish I cared a little more. They're having a bonding moment, and I'm here for it. Because if they didn't have a rivalry, like, they would be good friends. Now she's not dancing. Is that blood? Is she smiling? Well, maybe it's not blood. Maybe it's just like red dye or something. I don't know. Cause they can't get that much blood. So what am I thinking about? They couldn't even spring for real pig's blood. Only paint. Oh, so it's just paint. Hello, Winston. Are you okay? Eugene is in the woods. He's how how did she just get a vision of Eugene? Because whenever she touches someone, she has a vision about them. I thought you liked me. Wolf out, wolf out, wolf out, wolf out, wolf out. Get away from her. Period, Ajax, come to the rescue. I was too embarrassed to tell you, but I accidentally looked in the mirror and kind of stoned myself with my snakes. That, that's all you had to say, bro. And none of that would have happened. I totally agree. Okay. Taking it slow. Wednesday. Over here. I swear to God, if something happens to Eugene, we're fighting. Eugene. So something happened to him, and that was terrifying. You're kidding, bro. They just killed Eugene. No. Mm -mm. Oh my God. I can't believe they just did that. I didn't think they were actually gonna kill Eugene off. What hoes? And it's like, maybe it wasn't anyone at the dance. Or maybe it was, because I mean like, what's her name? Wednesday got there quick. But it's like, who, who, who could it be? Because I don't think it's Xavier. Because I think he actually did get like, scratched through his painting thing or whatever. So, and it's like, why would he be painting himself? Like, he would just be, like, giving it away. So that would make sense. I have, like, no idea. But I'm, like, really pissed off now because that's, that's just like her little brother died because she said that he reminds her of her little brother and he's dead. And it's like, why did it have to kill him? 
he was on the ground helpless. But then it's like, why would he kill anyone else? Because it's not like they were bothering him. I'm just like, it's so weird. And I just want to know who it is. Because, again, thinking back to it, whenever Wednesday had the vision or whatever about Eugene, I thought that, like, whenever she touched people or whatever, or, like, an object, it she had a vision of, like, something, like, related to, like, that person or whatever. But now she doesn't. Because, I mean, she did have the vision about, like, the other girl who, like, who's basically dead. But there's, like, something she touched. I don't know. It's, like, random things that she touches and then she just, bam, goes into a vision. So it's, like, it's kind of random but also not. It's confusing. And now she's trying to work with the freaking sheriff. And I'm mad that she thinks it's Xavier because I think their relationship could be better. I love her and Tyler. They're also cute. Like the way he looks at her, the way Xavier looks at her. It's so cute. But it's like, I don't know. I'm kind of shipping her and Xavier more, but if she ends up with Tyler, that'll be okay too. <sighs> I don't know. I'm glad Enid and Ajax made up and I feel bad that the other dude did that to her, but that just led to them talking and basically getting together in a way. So that's great. This might actually be like my favorite episode. It was. It kept me more intrigued, like, the whole time. And I was just cringing at that dance scene. Like, I'm sorry. I felt so weird. Like, <laughs> there's always, like, a scene in a movie or something that I just find so cringy that I have to skip it. But I just couldn't. I wanted to skip it because I just didn't want to look. But I just let it go. But now... Wednesday has to fix her relationship with Xavier. Like, that has to happen. And now, we need to see what she's gonna do about... What was his name? Eugene. I was just saying his name, and I forgot about it. Now we have to see, like, what she does about, like, Eugene dying or whatever. Like, I just find that so sudden. Like, this is only episode four. We have another four episodes to go. And now he's not going to get his chance with Enid, even though he he probably never had a chance anyway. But it's sad to think about. But I'm ready to see what happens in the next episode. So I guess come back for episode five. 